Welcome back to Upkeep with Sean. Today I'm going to show you how to get out of a jam when your water heater ignition is broken but you have to light this pilot and get some hot water into your house as soon as possible. So stay tuned. Today I'm going to show you how to light this GE water heater. This is a GG series similar to a ream without using the electric start. As you can see here, my electric start button has broken. But I am in a jam and I do need hot water tonight. Not in two or three days when I could get the part. It's about 8.30 p.m. on a Sunday night and we really need hot water. We just got back from a trip and everybody needs a shower. So let's go ahead and start by pulling off the lid. Your water heater may look different than this. However, uh, this is the unit that I have here. This is a 48 gallon unit, uh, 40,000 BTU. Now, my problem here is I'm not able to light it because I broke the ignition. I've tried to light the pilot hitting this button multiple times and I could not light the pilot. I hit it enough to where it stopped clicking and once it stopped clicking, the button ended up falling out. And even though I shoved this button back in, nothing happens anymore. It's just quiet. So I'm gonna show you here how I light the pilot. First, I need to get the pilot window open. Now this isn't a system where I could just open this cover and light the pilot inside. As you can see, I got everything else going here, such as gas line. So I need to get access to the pilot through this window. So I'm going to go ahead and open this window with a screwdriver. I'm going to go ahead and open this window. I'm going to let you know that it is really difficult to open the first time. This has a tang on the top, a tang on the bottom, and the tangs are actually grabbing and hooking back into the top of the slot. So what I did is I ran a small screwdriver along with a pick to push that tang down so I can gain a way to bend that tab. Now you want to be careful because this sight glass is made out of glass. So it will crack and shatter, break on you. So how I did this is pop it, popped it out through the top there. And I'll show you a closer view of the tang. There's a tang there. Now what I went ahead and did is this tang here, I flattened out a little bit for future service so I can open this a lot easier just like how you've seen right now. Uh, if yours has never been open, it will not open like uh, mine just did. So I flattened this out a little bit just so it could be tight and snug but not overly tight where it's locking me out. So I took a pair of pliers and I squeezed this down. This little tab here. Okay. Next, I went with the standard method of lighting a pilot. So, before the days of having this type of electrical snapping thing that is supposed to fire it up, like a barbecue, we just set, we just light it like the good old ways with the lighter. So here's the lighter. Now I'll turn the knob over to pilot position. Move the dial over to pilot position. And then, 
as I'm holding the pilot button down, I'll go in here and it's important to have one of these, not a uh, string of newspaper or anything like that. This is what you need is a barbecue lighter. And I'll go in into the pilot. And that is deep inside there. So it's a good six, six, seven inches inside. That's why you wouldn't have any control or uh, way to do it with a rolled up piece of newspaper or paper towel. So uh, once the pilot would light, I'd wait a few seconds, give it about five, six seconds, then move the dial back over to on. And this one, it's counterclockwise, quarter ways. Move that back to on, and then move the thermostat over to my desired temperature, which is set on very hot now. Now, the reason why I have that also set to very hot, we or normally use that at about A and B, the first and second setting, is because this pilot keeps going out. It goes out like every other day. So I know there's an issue with the pilot or this thermal couple, which senses the temperature of the pilot. I know there's an issue with it. It may be dirty inside. It may just need a little servicing, but I would have to open this whole unit up, not just this front burner uh, gas deal. This whole shell will have to come out pull this out and then I'll be able to access that pilot assembly. So stay tuned for the next video where I actually uh, do go ahead and replace this part so you can see how I get that done and I replace um, everything. So it's a three piece unit. We have a gas line here the thermal couple that senses the pilot on and the igniter and lastly I'll be replacing the igniter button as well that way I don't have to do this every time it was convenient when it worked and very inconvenient when it broke so like and subscribe for more DIY videos to get you out of a jam and fix these things yourself without spending a few hundred dollars on a plumber call.